We are in the Norman Rockwell Behind the Camera exhibition. Norman Rockwell's creative process started with an idea, which would end up on the cover of weekly magazines seen by millions. Well, these are all Norman Rockwell's ideas, and he's actually bringing them to the post uh, for them to put on the covers. And he was really good at it. Rockwell produced 323 covers during his career. The artist would frequently use family, friends, and neighbors as his models, capturing the details with the camera. The posture, the, the sense of motion, the lighting of a particular uh, situation or image. So many of these images truly show the work in process of that creative process. These photographs for Rockwell's piece called The Runaway are a great example of his process. Here you can see the subjects posing. Rockwell has an initial sketch. You see a young man behind the counter looking at this young runaway. Uh, the setting is a Howard Johnson's restaurant. It has a very urban kind of city feel to it. And as you can see, Rockwell would make some changes along the way before he settled on his final piece. We've replaced the younger man with a much older man and it's now a much more rural kind of diner out in the country somewhere, which shows Rockwell's process that my initial drawing, while I liked it, the little guy hasn't gotten far enough away from home to really be a runaway. Rockwell's paintings have a sense of nostalgia about them, his early works lighthearted and fun. Over time, his artful messages would change. Two very important pieces in the exhibition focus on the civil rights movement, this one commemorates the 10th anniversary of Brown versus Board of Education. And then New Kids in the Neighborhood, showing the desegregation of neighborhoods. Those two are as relevant and as timely today as they were in the mid-1960s when they were created. Rockwell's work fills eight galleries here. Some of them serious, others are fun. Many of them iconic. Before you leave, stop by the Activity Center and place yourself on the cover of the Gilcrease Gazette or hop into Rockwell's piece called The Gossip. It's like the game of telephone that starts with a chatty neighbor until it finally reaches the subject of the gossip, who is Norman Rockwell. And he confronts the person that started the gossip very angrily at the, in the last image. One thing I don't think Rockwell would mind you talking about with your own family, friends, and neighbors is his exhibit, Taking You Behind the Camera. At the Gilcrease Museum in Tulsa, I'm Jason Grubbs for Discover Oklahoma.